Good morning, everybody. My name is Augusto Pirovano, and I'm the project leader of Critical City Upload. Critical City Upload is a real-life urban transformation game. We use Web 2.0 technologies to achieve mass collaboration and bring young people to use public spaces and perform their creative missions. How does it work? Once registered on www.criticalcity.org, the player can access a special area of the website, which is the missions catalog. Here are listed hundreds of ideas of creative actions that can be performed. All of them are categorized by score and level of difficulty. Once the player chooses the missions that he likes, he can turn off the computer, go out in the city and actually perform the missions in the street. There you should also capture some proof that actually did it, like photos or videos of the mission, and once back home, you can upload the mission to the game website. At this point, the game recognizes the mission as done and gives a score to the player. The mission is published for everyone to see, and gradually new missions are unlocked for the player. Now let's see some missions examples. This mission asks the players to handwrite a letter to a stranger and send it to him. This mission was done by a girl in Brescia that in the days following the Fukushima disaster wrote a letter to one of the 50 volunteers that worked on the site immediately after the explosion. This other mission asks to invent, build and install a new street sign for your city. This mission was done in Milan and the sign says that you are obliged to say hello to strangers while you are waiting for the bus. This mission instead asks you to rediscover the forgotten spaces of the city and explore an abandoned building. This mission asks you to create some fortune cookie-like messages and install them in some public spaces. As long as the missions keep getting harder and award more points, they generally require to involve more and more people in the street. This mission, for example, asks you to create a living room in a public square. This has been done in Bologna, where dozens of players met up one uh, last spring Sunday, bringing sofas, carpets, hot tea and biscuits for other citizens to use. This mission asks you to get an old chair paint it with bright colors and install it in a place of your city with a nice panorama. This last mission asks you to build a musical instrument with a vegetable. This mission developed in two moments. In the first one, players built the instruments at their homes. Then they met in the public square where they performed a concert for passersby. And then everything ended with a nice dinner where everybody ate his own instrument. What you just saw are only seven missions performed by our players. But in the first 10 months of play, there have been more than 9300 missions performed in Italy and around the world. But why people do play this game? Well, players that reach level 7 win this Catola Inversa, which is a mystery box that arrives at their own house. Obviously, I cannot tell you what's inside the box, but it seems that once you open it, your life is not anymore the same. Critical City already won eight international awards, and we cannot wait for the next edition in 2012 of the Toronto DigiFest to create something really special with you. So thanks for your attention, and have fun!